Life is hectic and crazy sometimes. We're bombarded with information, technology, experiences. With just a click of our fingers, we can connect to knowledge. And in a way, that dilutes it. And we can step away from what's within us, the power of the simple things, the power that we were born with. So why were you born a Capricorn? Every sign has a secret superpower that can project them into and up along the game of life. This superpower can evolve your soul, transform you and help you reach your dreams. Sadly, we're all born with this mega gremlin of a shadow that can also be very self-destructive and lead us down the snake in the snakes and ladders game of life. So, I'm here to tell you all about what your superpower is. The moment you were born, you were given a unique soul map, which is your astrology. And it all starts with your sun sign. Capricorns are ruled by Saturn, the Lord of Responsibility. And you have great tenacity as well as being very, very responsible. So your superpower is the fact that if you put your mind to it, like the proverbial goat, you will get up that mountain come hell or high water. You have the ability really to keep going when other people have given up a long, long time ago. Sometimes you forget that or sometimes you put that ability into the wrong thing. You may put your tenacity or your stubbornness or your willpower into a situation in your heart you know won't work maybe in a relationship that won't work, maybe in a job that doesn't satisfy you, maybe in an area of your life where in a way you're fighting yourself. Once you can turn that around and go, okay, I'm gonna see the bigger picture. I'm gonna understand that Saturn is about loving responsibility. In a way, it's almost like the father of the Zodiac. So, you know, if you were to be a parent to yourself, if you were to be a father to yourself, what advice would you give yourself? And how would you implement that advice in your life? What things in your life can you choose to be responsible for? What things in your life can you choose to commit to? Because that really is, when you hone that energy in and you use it in a way that's, that's compatible and fabulous for you and useful, you can literally achieve all of your goals. To love it takes a lot for someone to get through to you it takes a lot for you to give yourself but when you do you know you are you are so deep you are so intense you are so loyal and there for that person it is your life's work to continue being loving however as I said you know it may be that you haven't even met that person today it may be that you're waiting for that person because for you commitment is everything now, are you committed to yourself? Do you give yourself that amount of commitment? It's very, very important that you do, that you love yourself and you, and you know, a lot of Capricorns I know feel they have to prove something, achieve something to be lovable. And that is the illusion, that is the shadow side. You are good enough, you are lovable enough, and you are an extraordinary, powerful human being in your own right. downside what's the shadow side of your sign well you can be incredibly stubborn and controlling sometimes even if you're the quietest meekest mousest of a Capricorn you will not move unless you feel that you should move and in fact sometimes once you've made a decision even if you're wrong you find it difficult to back down and apologize don't shoot the messenger you know what I'm talking about. It's just me and you talking here. You don't have to admit it in the comments. So if you open up your heart to being committed to the truth, committed to knowing that it's okay to, to be soft sometimes, okay to be wrong, nothing wrong with being wrong. 
You know, that's when your life will become a lot easier. You are powerful, you are magnificent, and if you put your mind to something and you use your superpower to focus and commit to your dream while also committing to being flexible enough to seeing if there's a quicker route, then anything is possible. Life is a merry-go-round. Sometimes it takes us on the wild ride of the roller coaster. Other times it's the Ferris wheel and we feel we're on top of the world. Or we're in the scary ghost train, terrified by events that are occurring. But you know what? Once we know our strengths, our superpowers and our weaknesses, that's when we can enjoy the ride. Thank you so much for watching. I would love you to share it if you enjoyed it. And there's an abundance of other videos and articles on my website. If you've subscribed, thank you so much. And of course, I would love you to subscribe if you haven't already. Take care. I send you so much love and I'll speak to you soon.